I was left with a lot of responsibility when I was growing up on a farm. When something went wrong that I had to fix, I didn't, I didn't have an academic background. You had to just be practical and solve problems. And so, to me, a farm boy approach is a practical, quick solving of problems and getting on with the work. He's, he's the right guy at the right time to be at Harborview, to be in orthopedics. His innovations constantly went against the grain, constantly went against the thought that the right way to do things. And it was his strength in defying the orthodoxy that made him the great innovator that he is today. I first met Dr. Hansen about 20 years ago on the floor and the first thing that impressed me was his patient care and how much time he took with the patients on the floor. Um, and then about eight or nine years ago I moved down here to surgery and um, I've been working with Dr. Hansen for the past seven and then I came to know his surgical abilities and how uh, phenomenal they were. I usually have residuals of the garden or concrete or something under my fingernails so the first scrub of the week is always pretty be careful. <laughs> yeah, Sig Hansen is an unassuming individual who travels a lot and people listen to him. They listen to him because he's been successful. So his ability to influence other orthopods across the United States, yeah, the orthopedists are kind of a closed culture. They listen to each other and they practice or emulate what others have accomplished. Has spread literally to Europe, to Asia, to Africa. So his influences been worldwide. It's an enormous influence. People come from all over the world seeking out Dr. Hansen's expertise. He is able to put people back together where other physicians have refused or are unable to help them. They're able to get back to their careers, to their lives, and he's such a warm and wonderful caring physician both to his patients and to his staff. To reduce fractures in the field, to bring them in in reasonable anatomic alignment, it was considered almost uh, uh, heretical and his ability to inspire people to do that and to for them to realize that it was the right thing to do uh, was the reason that they named uh, the practice of Hansopedics after him. So it was a combination of great surgical skills, total confidence in himself and the ability to withstand criticism that really made him the great innovator in orthopedics. I was in uh, London about three years ago and there were a group of well-known orthopedic surgeons sitting around at dinner and one of them said, who do you think will be the Sigvard T. Hansen of the next generation? And we all kind of looked around the room and said, I don't think it's possible to be the next Sigvard T. Hansen. I feel really privileged that I uh, had the opportunity to have a job like this where you could do something that's so gratifying. And the people that I've worked with have been an absolute joy. They're, they're um, at all levels, my, not just my orthopedic peers, and but the other services here and the nurses and the staff, uh, they're very loyal and they work hard and we get along wonderfully and it's, uh, it's a wonderful way to pass the time, which in, while you're doing all that enjoyment, you're doing good for people, which is one of the things I was taught to do. So I feel very lucky. And I, I think what the, that the goal in life is to figure out what you're good at uh, and make that your life's work and you, you'll have a nice life.